So I've basically found my Coachman Chaparral's cousin or twin or very similar looking floor plan. This is another Astoria from Dutchman. It is very, very similar to the floor plan of my Coachman 360 IBL Chaparral, but there's a couple of differences and it's definitely something you might want to take a look at. So let's take a look at the numbers on this specific unit and see if the weight rating is essentially the same as mine. So my Coachman Chaparral has a gross vehicle weight rating of 14,000 pounds. And let's see what this one is. So we're walking around now. This has a 12,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating. So this is significantly lighter than my coach. Something else I wanna look at are the axle. So this has six lug hubs versus the eight lug that come on mine, which mean these are either 5,100 or 6,000 pound axles versus the 7,000 pound eight lug axles that you get on the Coachman. It does ride on what appears to be a 12 inch frame. So you have a 12 inch I-beam on here, which is two inches taller than the 10 inch I-beam that we have on the Chaparral. Plus this does have auto leveling as well, a feature you can get on both. Not a huge fan of the cable driven slides. Let's take a look inside of this coach. Going up the aluminum steps. Of course, this is not gonna be Asdell constructed. It has a nice living room layout. Again, very similar to the Chaparral. A difference here is that the Chaparral has a wider sofa with smaller end tables. And this is also a Chaparral dealership as well, so you kind of have the option to look at both if you come here. Fireplace, TV, lots of countertop space, even though it's set up differently. You got a big pantry right here, a nice coffee station right here. It's a huge pantry, actually. You have a lot of countertop space here, and you have a relatively long island. This one has an MSRP of $60,590 and a sale price of $42,900. Again, if you call them, I'm sure you can negotiate that down. Has a ducted air conditioning system here in the living room. Let's take a look at the bunkhouse. So it has roughly the same size bunkhouse as the Chaparral. Looks like it's four foot wide bunks on top of each other. We removed ours and we could put one of those kind of fluffy sofas that fold out here so it sleeps a little longer because these are usually relatively short. These are really made for smaller children. But you have some cabinets here and right here. No loft, which is something that I would have liked to see even if it's a small loft. Going up the stairs. So two entries into the bathroom, stand up shower. It's a decent sized shower. Looks like you have about six foot two for your head clearance. Nice area for a sink here. You have some areas around the outside of it. The wardrobe is in a slide, whereas the bedroom is gonna be a queen size bed. Lots of room on each side of it. Not a lot of room on the end here to move by it though. Overall, it's a pretty nice setup, honestly. Coming out of the bedroom, by the way, there was no second AC unit in the bedroom. In my opinion, I think the Chaparral is the better buy of the two units. This is nice from a kitchen perspective. I definitely like the island. I like the theater seating right here a little bit better than the Chaparral because it's wider and you're not necessarily sharing two cup holders in one armrest. Big windows, no storage above the windows here. But a lot of room on the table. Overall, it's a pretty nice floor plan. Again, I'm kind of partial of the Chaparral versus this one though. I do like the fact that it does have LED lights on the back. That is something that's currently not offered on the Chaparral. Hopefully it'll be added soon. Up there, it is pre-wired for a Furion camera. Spare tires on the back here. Chaparral mounts it underneath. Again, all cable driven slides. Here's your 50 amp power connection. So it is pre-wired for 50 amps, which means you could add a second AC to it without any problem, electrically speaking. Here's the outside of the mid bunk area. Looks very similar to the Chaparral in that sense. Let's take a look at the storage. So here's your water control board. Not a lot here. City water connection, flush valve, spray port. That's interesting. You can hook up a little sprayer out here if you wanna clean things off. Your hot water bypass. It's got a good size storage. I'd argue to say that besides that little notch right there, it's about the same size as the Chaparral. This does have auto leveling. I also like the fact that the Chaparral uses a radiant barrier under the floor system here, even though the frame on this seems to be a little thicker. 
there are definitely some trade-offs. And this is the outside of the wardrobe slide, which you can see it's a relatively shallow slide. It's just meant for the closet in the master bedroom. Overall, it's a pretty cool coach. So yeah, this is the 3273 MBF. Lighter weight than the Chaparral by 2,000 pounds from a gross vehicle weight perspective. Definitely has some nice features to it, but it's not quite as upscale, I think, as the Chaparral. Overall, though, it's a pretty cool unit. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.